Kilo, Echo, 8, Kilo, Kilo, Juliet, Tom. And the name was Paul? Tom, T-O-M, Tom. Yes, sir, Tom. Ah, well, whereabouts are you? Located in Randolph County, Elkins, West Virginia. Roger, Tom, well, you're sounding mighty good this afternoon. This is uh, Kilo Charlie 9, Victor Kilo Victor. The name is Jim, purely at India Mike, and we're located uh, near Louisville, Kentucky. We're uh, just across the river from downtown Louisville on the Indiana side in a little uh, community called uh, New Albany, Indiana. But usually we just say uh, we're uh, next door to Louisville because everybody knows where Louisville is, Roger. Went down there and took down a blacktop plant many moons ago. USL? Roger, Tom, I, I might have spoken to you. I think uh, I recall somebody uh, coming down and doing a job on uh, some uh, blacktop. Uh, uh, was it a manufacturing uh, plant? Yes, it was. It was a uh, uh, Heatherton and Brotherton uh, blacktop plant there in Louisville. Roger, what year was that? Roger, Roger. Well, uh, I'm glad you uh, got to uh, check out our part of the our neck of the woods, Roger. Yes, we had a great time. We were down there. We spent a week down there taking that old plant down. I think it was, uh, if I remember rightly, it was uh, the last time the uh, uh, Indianapolis Speedway was paid. Oh, Roger that, Roger that. And uh, what radio are you running, sir? Roger, you're doing a great job there. Uh, what kind of wattage are you running, sir? Uh, this old radio is running about uh, maybe 70 watts. Oh, excellent job. Uh, you're coming in uh, maybe uh, 10 dB over my noise level. I can't give you a real S meter reading because uh, I run uh, so uh, so light in the front end RF-wise that uh, the S meter doesn't doesn't really work at all. But uh, I'm looking at your output on the uh, uh, the uh, the audio output on a, a VU meter, and I've got your voice set for zero level, zero reference level on the VU meter. So when you see sp speaking, uh, I'm looking then at the uh, the residual noise level, and uh, it's uh, below uh, 10 dB. So you are 10 dB over my local noise, Roger. QSL, sir. QSL, how's your weather there? A pleasant at the moment. Uh, a little cold, a little chilly, and uh, they are predicting some more uh, cold weather, but uh, uh, it warmed up uh, pretty nice t today, Roger. QSL, sir. It's been cold. It was uh, about 14 here this morning. At about 6 o'clock, it's right at 31 here today. Supposed to warm into the 40s tomorrow and the 50s on Saturday. QSL? Uh, Roger, Roger. Well, uh, do you prefer the cold or the hot? I worked around blacktop all my life. I prefer to be warm. Uh, roger that, roger that. Well, now, listen, did you, did you uh, wind up getting a suntan from all the heat off that asphalt? Yes, sir, you do. I guarantee you one thing, it'll, uh, uh, especially out there when it's about 100 degrees and it's 325 degrees black top you're putting down, you'll get a suntan off of it. <laughs> Roger. Well, they just uh, finished uh, topping our uh, street here, and uh, they put in, looked like about an inch and a half uh, cover on it, Roger. Uh, gosh, uh, I don't know. They just uh, laid it down and ran over it a couple of times with, uh, you know, those uh, big uh, heavy uh, uh, drums on that uh, tractor and uh, called it called it close enough, Roger. Well, sounds like they did you a good job. Sounds like they did you a good job. But can you give me your call sign slowly, sir? 
Roger. The call here is Kilo Charlie 9 Victor Kilo Victor. And I repeat, Kilo Charlie 9 Victor Kilo Victor. QSL, sir. QSL, you didn't get any of that rain we've been getting up here, have you? Uh, no, not yet. We just had some snow flurries uh, this morning, and I think uh, some of it's uh, scheduled to come back a little bit later on. Roger. Yeah, I think that's what's going to happen with us. I think it's going to Yes, Al. But, see a good friend of mine on the two-meter side calls them uh, weather guessers. Yeah, Roger. That, that's about it. You know, in some of them foreign countries, man, if the uh, if the weatherman gets it wrong, he better leave town because they'll be after him in the most serious way. Well, sir, I told both my sons that uh, when they went to college, they needed to become weathermen, and they wanted to know why I said that. And I said, well, where in the world could you get a job where you were wrong 90% of the time and still be employed? <laughs> That's true. But, you know, uh, a lot of those local weather guys uh, uh, do fairly well, sometimes even better than the uh, Weather Bureau, Roger. We were uh, paving uh, all out here probably about five miles from my house, and there was a company out there called Highway Paving. They were doing the concrete work, and they called a uh, weather forecaster in Houston, Texas, uh, to forecast the weather for him so they wouldn't lose any concrete. And uh, I asked, the guy's name was Charlie, I asked him if uh, he had talked to Houston about the weather, and he said, uh, he called him and said it was supposed to rain at about uh, 10.30, and about 20 minutes after it was raining. Roger, Roger, was it, did it rain early or right on time? Ah, uh, Roger that. Well, you you know, <laughs> I know this guy called Glenn Close enough. He uh, built my uh, coffee maker, and the uh, reason I know Glenn is because uh, you can't pour that coffee without spilling it everywhere. It's just a design defect that he did, but, uh, you know, Glenn said, close enough. <laughs> so there you go, Roger. QSL, sir, QSL. Yes, sir, great chatting with you on what the... Uh let you get back at it and let somebody else come in and talk to you. Uh, uh, Kilo, uh, Charlie 9, Victor, Kilo, Victor, Kilo, Echo 8, Kilo, Kilo, Juliet, 73, sir, thanks for the call. Roger, Roger, Tom, and uh, FYI, we have been uh, recording, as we do on our QSO Vlog normally on Friday afternoons. We are recording uh, and have been recording uh, this afternoon, and uh, we will uh, post it up on YouTube. So if you'd like to hear uh, your uh, radio, which really sounded beautiful, if you go to YouTube and do a call letter search for Kilo Charlie 9, Victor Kilo Victor, that will take you to our QSO Vlog page, and uh, on that page, uh, you'll be looking Looking for one air check that will have your call sign uh, in the title, Roger. USL, sir, I'll look that up. Thank you for your time. Roger, Roger, Tom, and it'll be a couple of days. We'll have it up by a couple of days from now, Roger. USL, sir, you have a great day and a Merry Christmas. Roger, Roger, Tom. Likewise, uh, three is that way. And this is uh, Kilo Charlie 9, Victor Kilo Victor, in the uh, QSO Vlog uh, pop-up air check. We're checking out uh, running a, a different uh, receiver than normal. So we're running uh, one radio for transmit and uh, one radio for receive. Our receive radio is a uh, ICOM 7300, and we are running uh, two large 10-foot uh, vertical magnetic loop antennas, one oriented east and west, the other north and south, comes in on a three-position rotary switch, and uh, so we can do each one separately, or we ha do have a co-phase position in our switch where we put them two together in a co-phase mode, which is many times uh, 3 to 4 dB hotter in receive than either one of those mag loops by themselves. This is KC9 VKV listening.